Hello, my dear friends. Thank you so much for joining me today as we spend these few moments with our Good Shepherd. Our meditation today comes from the book of Psalms, Psalm 32, reading verses 3 through 5. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away as I groaned all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me. My moisture was dried up by the droughts of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover up my guilt. I said, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. It hurts, it burns, it stings, it pangs, it gnaws at us. We can't see it, we can't touch it, but we sure can feel it. I'm talking about a guilty conscience. When your conscience is overwhelmed with past sins, it's one of the worst feelings in the world. Sadness, depression, almost a feeling like others know of what you did and they're snickering behind your back. Uh, your stomach is turned in knots. David describes it in our reading today as feeling tired, worn out, pressured, even dried up like, uh, like water in a drought. He wept over his many wrongs. We can empathize with David, can't we? The many wrongs we have done plague our conscience even years later, don't they? And when we've done something wrong and we haven't admitted it, we do have that suspicion that others know or at least suspect that we've done something really, really bad. And maybe that even begins to affect how we then treat them because of that guilty conscience. Fortunately, our God is a God of love. And as he still loved and forgave David for all of those sins, he still loves and forgives us for all of those sins. And he wants nothing more than to come our guilty consciences. And he does that with the blood of Jesus. He does that with the promise that through the blood of Jesus, all of our sins have been washed away. Though your sins are as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Imagine that. That guilty conscience that pangs and gnaws and torments you is gone. It's gone when you lay it at the cross of Jesus and he washes it clean. And then we can pick up that conscience again and gladly start out to do the will of God, to obey him, not out of fear, but out of gratitude for calming our guilty conscience. We pray. Lord God, in your mercy you have heard my plea for forgiveness. In your mercy, you gave your son to pay for my wrongs. Now in your mercy, cleanse and comfort and calm my guilty conscience and help me see that in you I find real and eternal rest and then help me live in thankfulness to you. Amen. Well, my friends, may God bless and keep you today as your guilty conscience has been calmed through the blood of the Son of God.